or being lifted by that crane. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I liked the, uh, the elevator yesterday better. As you can see, we're being lifted up by a tower crane right now to the top of this building being demolished from the top down. Behind me is the beautiful city of Cologne, Germany. So let's see what we got here. To provide a little context on this job, the machine's not working today. However, it's pretty neat. It was a 16 floor building. We're at floor eight. As you can see, there's nothing above us. So where'd the floors go? Well, they started demolishing this building from the top down. Everything is being saw cut, removed, using this mini excavator, the tower crane that we came up on, and is being placed down below. We'll get some shots of what the bits of concrete look like down there. Why are they doing this? Well, 16 floors, a little too high for uh, a high reach that they have. But more importantly, asbestos. The outside of the building was covered in asbestos, so they couldn't use even a larger high reach and a processor, which is what's typical on this building, because then you'd be getting asbestos in the air, and that's a clear no-no. So they're doing it from the top down. They have a shield all the way around the building. They're doing their abatement as they go, and soon they'll be on the ground with no building here at all. Also, that is the famous Cologne Cathedral. So yeah, they're not working today. I have never shot an excavator on top of a building before. Did you order the Uber? Yep, please. <laughs> These Uber Uber pluses are just getting more and more ridiculous. <laughs> and it's, it's Uber it's, pool, actually. Yeah, Uber pool. <laughs> it's, it's, ah, why do we have to go so high? Uh, I don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> Simon, are you home? Step in. Oh, Welcome hey. to my casa. Hey, hey thanks for having hello. me, dude. Nice. Simon, your sink is broken. Broken uh, sink. It worked yesterday, I promise. Should we go by stairs or with the escalator? Um, elevator. Probably elevator. Yeah. But I don't want to, I don't like indoor elevators. I like outdoor elevators. Then we should go outside. Let's go outside. Yeah. Okay, next site. Okay, we just got to the second site thanks to teleportation. There's a little bit of processing going on. 972 XE. Looks like a 336 back there. Not totally sure. Munching concrete, getting this site ready for building. So, with that, here's some cool drone shots. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to my new school. I believe in educating the next generation. So I have spent lots of my money, hard earned money, on this brand new school in Germany to educate the future. Come on in. I've worked hard on it. Not safe. I'm trying to get some fresh air in here. For our last act of Europe, and today, we're demolishing a school. We've been demolishing a lot of schools lately. We're cleaning up the education system. They've been munching away at the building with a muncher. I love the color of the counterweight of the excavators too. I think it's pretty slick. So let's go see what they're doing. Come on down. You think I can do this in other countries too? It still works. We didn't already try to break this window, and there happened to be a second piece of glass in front of the first piece of glass. Just a bit outside. He tried oh, the corner no. and missed. Dang it. First try. That's a lot of money right there. Pop quiz, is that pile of metal or the excavator worth more money? 
probably still the excavator, huh? Yeah. Add that to the JSA. Snakes. Come on, slither the snake is snake. Okay, so you'll notice if you look real closely at that 349, it says B18 on it. That's the equipment number that the company uses for internal purposes, Bagger 18 excavator in German. Now, behind me, you'll notice that this green container also says B18 and Daniel on it, who is that excavator's operator. This follows that machine around and it has the grease, the wear parts, the filters, whatever is needed to maintain that machine, which is very slick. I'm seeing a gen set, fuel, grease, the oil quick repair kit, filters, everything. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh money. Oh, is he getting the muncher? Yeah he is. Oh this whole episode just got better. That's a big muncher. And thank you to Zeppelin Cat, Zeppelin, Zeppelin, is it Bow Machine? Yeah. Zeppelin Bow Machine for having us not only at Bauma, but to visit customers this week. So you see he's using his Zeppelin branded oil quick to grab the muncher. And not only does it engage and pin the coupler to the machine, but it's also engaging all of the hydraulic uh, hydraulic hoses that that thing needs to run. You see, didn't get out of the cab, no attaching hoses, and that thing's fully functional. Now he's ready to do the work. And now he's ready to munch. Time to munch. Okay, so what's going on here? The 336 is over there picking apart where they've demolished the building. Pulling all the bigger pieces to, into this pile here. And then the 349 put the processor on and it's just munching its way through all this concrete to break up the concrete so it loads into trucks better, it could be recycled. And then also to pull all that steel out for recycling as well. To recycle all that steel, you can't have concrete on it. It needs to be clean. So this is an essential step. And all that steel is worth a lot of money. So they want to make it as clean as possible to get maximum scrap value. Removing the steel reinforcement from the concrete structure of the building. Why is there steel in there? Well, it is reinforcement, but to explain the purpose of it, concrete is very good under compression. So you can push this, push this, push this. It's gonna be really good. However, it's weak in the opposite direction. If I start pulling concrete apart, tension, its tensile strength is very low. However, steel's tensile strength is very high. So we put the steel within the concrete to make sure the building can go compress and be pushed and pulled in a tensile manner without cracking or breaking structurally. So steel is a a, a critical part of any kind of concrete structure but when you take a concrete structure down you got to split the two up because they're two different materials with uh, two different purposes two different recycling processes two different value values plural i'm tired it's been a long week okay perfect <laughs> the german authorities finally got me with that we're not only concluded with this video or our trip with Zeppelin, but this Europe trip in general. Hopefully you enjoyed. This second European series will be back next year at some point for more. Until then, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Stay dirty. Yeah, I don't know, there's a bunch of
things. All right, okay, all right, well, well, well. We're at a school demolition project right now, and this is a door here. What's this? What is this, a gravestone? Or some kind of weight? Watch out, suitcase. A suitcase, okay, yeah, so there's suitcases here. You have to wear goggles, or there's men with goggles here. No matches, no smoking, no dumping water on fire? What? Uh, nuclear weapons, explosives, fire, and death. That's amazing. We're at a school. What is it?